going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931 201 9098 so we can help you make the switch At today. At CNB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi-use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CNB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high-quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CNB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop Services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. Care keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. As a founder of Beasley Wealth Management, his mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. A local of Lawrenceburg, Scott deeply values building relationships with clients, ensuring they make informed decisions concerning asset management, tax planning, and retirement planning. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to a and Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's a and Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee.
got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender, major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union, not for profit, for service. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. Sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tower McDowell with in-service towing 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full-service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family-owned, family-operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit in-service specialties. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gain Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize to meet every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring & More make your design dreams a reality. 
2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com. This is the X Sports Network. And welcome everybody here to Green Hill, Alabama, the site for tonight's intrastate matchup here between the Pirates of Rogers and the Wildcats of Lawrence County. This is AJ Good here on the X Sports Network that's going to be bringing you this early evening game. Let's take a look at the starting lineup, starting first here for the Wildcats. Coming in at 8-7 and seven overall, their head coach is Clint Wright. Leading off at shortstop is Jack Emerson. Batting second at second base is Gavin Glass. Batting third in center field is Alex Bedford. Batting fourth, the designated hitter Isaiah Bentley. Batting fifth in left field, the freshman A.J. Daniel. Batting sixth in right field will be Kaysen Smith. Batting seventh at first base will be T.J. Gobble. Batting eighth at third base will be Cole Schultz. Rounding out the lineup and catching will be another freshman in Brooks Durham. Take a look at the starting lineup here for the Pirates. Leading off in center field will be Curtis Campbell. Batting second in left field will be Maddox Ramos. Batting third in right field will be Jackson Green. Batting fourth at the shortstop will be Keaton Hines. Batting fifth and catching will be Tyser Wood. Batting sixth at second base will be Trent Carter. Batting seventh at third base will be Griffin Hurston. Batting eighth and pitching will be Hagen Butler. Rounding up the lineup at first base will be Easton Bradley. Pirates are 6-8 and eight overall. Their head coach is Randall Martin. First of two that these two will play this weekend. The first one being today. The next one will be tomorrow night at Tom Cruise Field. That game will be at 6.30 in Lawrenceburg. The Pirates wearing their blue tops, gray pants. Lawrence County will be rocking the purple tops and white pants for this evening's game be the third, second and third games that the Wildcats will face off against Lauderdale County competition. Last game was against Wilson in their home opener at Tom Cruise Field where they picked up a 15-6 win. Jack Emerson to lead things off here for the Wildcats. Freshman's done a good job at the leadoff spot for the bulk of the season so far. Comes the first pitch here from Butler. That's a bunt attempt. That's going to get down, and that one's perfectly placed by Emerson and a leadoff bunt for a hit. And now we got a runner on first base with nobody out here in the top of the first inning. So first pitch he sees, Emerson uses his wheels and gets his way to first base. Going to bring up the second baseman in Gavin Glass. Glass, who wasn't in the lineup yesterday, has seen his name put in that lineup a lot throughout the course of the year. Big lead by Emerson over at first. Butler takes a look over. And now we'll throw over the check on Emerson, and it's not in time. Apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for my voice here. I'm going to do my best to try to get through this game. If I squeak or my voice goes low and then high all of a sudden, I've got a sore throat here, feeling great, overcoming a couple things here with the allergies and just trying to push through it. So I appreciate your patience and and I don't mind if y'all laugh if I squeak every now and again. Next pitch, that one misses away. Emerson's going to stay put for ball one. Want to know the count here to Glass, a two-hole hitter. Very windy evening. Wind is blowing straight out the center. Sometimes will blow to left, so this should be a hitter-friendly game. Butler's going to check on Emerson again. The throw's not in time. Two schools only familiar with each other for the most part through basketball, girls and boys basketball. Don't have a played in a very long time in football. Not that it's easy for either side to cross the state line and do so. In most sports, it's difficult for them to play as well. Here's a 1-0. That one misses high. And they fake the back pick on Emerson, so it's a 2-0 count. Still with the runner on first base. Nice facility. You can tell the coaching staff and the people here in Green Hill have done a good job taking care of the field. Looks in very good condition. Here's a 2-0. Swung on a miss for strike one. Butler gets a sign, comes set, 
Emerson with the big lead at first. Here's a 2-1. Breaking ball that's in there for strike two and evens up the count of two balls and two strikes. Wind continues to whip this dead center field. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball misses in. Stolen base attempt from Emerson, and he is in there. So Emerson gets a stolen base, puts himself in scoring position, and it's a full count here to Gavin Glass. Full count offering from Butler, and Glass will send this one down the right field line. Right fielder charging in on it, and that one goes foul. And the count will stay full here. Three balls and two strikes. First baseman never even saw it. It's kind of a difficult sky sometimes for people to see uh, the baseball, especially when it goes as high as that one Gavin Glass just hit. These kind of mixture of light and dark clouds with the blue sky, it's not the easiest thing to see. There's another full count offering. That one misses away. Yep. I'll say that's on the outside corner for strike three in the first out of the inning. One gone here. Top of the first inning, going to bring up Alex Bedford here, the center fielder for the Wildcats, has homered in three of his last four games. Wind blowing out, which helps to all fields. If he can get one in the air with velocity, more than likely it's going out of here. First pitch from Butler. Breaking ball, misses high for ball one. The senior day here today in Green Hill. Butler and Ramos are the two seniors here for the Pirates that were honored today. Here's a 1-0. That one's in the dirt, a good block there behind the plate by Wood. And it's a 2-0 count. Emerson on second, one gone here in the top of the first inning. And continues to just whip the straight dead center field. Here's a 2-0. Big swing and a miss for strike one. Befford rarely gets cheated on a swing. And the 2-1. Hit high in the air and out of play. And that one... One hop to school, and the count evens up with two balls and two strikes. Facility here is right next to the school, right next to the football field as well, so several things for target practice. For a foul ball and even a home run. The 2-2. Two -two. Befford rips this one to the second baseman, gloves it, throws over the first. That one's in tie for the second out of the inning. Emerson will advance to third on the play as we have got two gone here in the top of the first inning. And bring up Isaiah Bentley. Bentley had a solo home run in yesterday's loss against Murfreesboro Central. He's homered in back-to-back -back games. He's got three on the year. Two of his three home runs have been grand slams. First run of the game, 90 feet away with two gone here in the top of the first. First pitch from Butler to Bentley. This one's hit high in the air. Shortstop calls everybody off, makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats stram one here in the top of the first inning. We go to the bottom of the first, first at bat for the Pirates coming up next on the Exports Network. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. Like you, our roads are in Lawrence County. 
providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gain Street, next to the courthouse. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you, as an employee, a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at Livingstone stonefs.com or give us a call at 931-269-3255. Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931 931- massage.com Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. This is the X Sports Network. And back here in Green Hills, we go to the bottom of the first no score between Rogers and Lawrence County. Curtis Campbell leading things off here for the Pirates and flares that one for a single in the left field off of the pitcher of Logan Clayton. So each side here starts off their half the first inning with singles off the first pitch. One on, nobody out here in the bottom of the first here for the Pirates. Now gonna bring up the left fielder, one of the two seniors here, Maddox Ramos. So Clayton on the bump here. This early evening matchup for the Wildcats. Haven't seen a lot of them this year, but he's getting a start here tonight. First pitch, that one is bunted foul down the left field line for strike one. Brooks Durham behind the plate. Got a sophomore here throwing to a freshman. Three freshmen in the lineup with A.J. Daniel on left and Jack Emerson at short. Windy day here in Green Hill, Alabama. Here's the 0 1. Lays down the bunt. Clayton, excuse me, it's Cole Schultz fielding it, throwing the first, and that one's off of TJ Gobble's glove. Campbell will make his way to third. And we got runners on the corners here. Nobody out in the top of the in the bottom of the first inning. So good start to this one here for the Pirates. Brings up the three-hole hitter in Jackson Green. It's green in a good position here at the first run on 90 feet away. A runner on first as well. Nobody out here in the bottom of the first. First pitch from Clayton in the dirt. And a good block there. Runner's going to take off as Ramos. No throw. And we got a runner on second and third. Nobody out here in the bottom of the first. Here's a one up. And another good block by Durham for ball two. Sun is out here. It is a beautiful day, just very windy. Sure, you're experiencing that everywhere across the area. This one is skied in the right center field. Beffer going back when it makes the catch. Campbell tagging up. They cut it off. Campbell scores, and then they throw to try to get Ramos gets away. Ramos on his way home. The throw is not in time, and he will score. And the Pirates now lead this one two to nothing. So a sacrifice fly at a couple of runs, and it is a two to nothing pirate lead. (laughs) 
So I'll bring up the shortstop in Keaton Hines. Nobody on, and his team already up two to nothing. There's three batters into the game. First pitch from Clayton. That one is fouled away for strike one. Next pitch, a breaking ball in the outside corner for strike two. And the 2 0 uh, 2, excuse me. Breaking ball misses high and in for ball one. Next pitch from Clayton misses just a tad high and in for ball two. Two balls and two strikes here to the cleanup hitter in Hines. And the 2 2. This one is lined right to Gavin Glass at second base, and that will be the second out of the inning. Good play there by Glass as that ball was sinking on him and got the glove on it just in time. Brings up the five-hole hitter and the catcher in Tyser Wood. Two gone here in the bottom of the first. Pirates with a two-to-nothing lead. First pitch from Clayton. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. And the 1 0. Swung on a miss. A changeup for strike one. Good pitch there by Clayton. And the 1 1. This is high and away for ball two. Comes a 2-1 from Clayton. Just misses away for ball three. Hitters count here for Wood. Clayton now 15 pitches. And the 3-1. This is high and in for ball four. Now I'm going to bring up the second baseman and Trent Carter. Have a courtesy runner coming to the game for Wood. Carter up, one on, two gone. A 2-0 lead here in the bottom of the first. First pitch from Clayton. This is high and in for ball one. And the 1 0. Runner takes off. Throws in there for a strike, and the runner is in there safely off the stolen base. One and one the count. This pitch from Clayton. Breaking ball. That one misses low and away for ball two. Brooks Durham now going to go out and have a talk here with the pitcher and Logan Clayton. Might have gotten their signals crossed up there a bit. And the 2 1. It's a ground ball right back to Clayton. He will toss over to Gobble in time, and that one will end the inning. The Pirates, they get two in the bottom of the first. They lead it two to nothing as we go to the top half of the second. That's coming up next on the Exports Network. Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. 
Shaw Southeast Distributing Delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience at our family owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. This is the X Sports Network. And back here in Green Hill, Alabama, as we go to the top of the second, Rogers leading Lawrence County two to nothing. Five six seven do up for the Wildcats. AJ Daniel followed by Kaysen Smith, TJ Gobble. Hagan Butler on for a second inning of work, gave up a hit, no runs, a walk, a no walks, a strikeout through 13 pitches in the first inning. First one here from Daniel. That one's lined up the middle for a base hit. Daniel, who went two for three yesterday, picking up where he left off, lining that one into the right center field gap. So just like Jack Emerson did in the first inning, first pitch he sees, he sends it up the middle for a base hit. Brings up Kaysen Smith, who is mainly hitting the nine hole for the majority of the year, finds himself here batting sixth in tonight's game. Daniel, a decent lead over at first. First pitch here. That one is in the dirt by Butler for ball one. Second hit of the game here for the Wildcats. And the 1 0. Smith will sky this one in the air. Shortstop going back on it and makes the catch for the first out of the inning. Bring up the first baseman and T.J. Gobble with one gone here in the top of the second inning. Shortstop and Hines has been busy for the Pirates so far in this game. Pair of pop-ups he's caught. T.J. now going from the five to the seven hole here. Is that Coach Clint Wright shaking up the lineup a bit here, trying to snap the six-game losing skid. First pitch from Butler. That one is in the dirt. Daniel's going to take off for second base, and he's going to get in there safely. 1-0 count the gobble now. Runner on second base. One gone here in the top of the second. Good effort there by Wood to keep it in front of him, and that one was just too hardly in front of him and bounced more towards Butler. Allowed Daniel, who read it perfectly, to get in the second base safely. Here's a 1-0. Gobble swings and misses for strike one. Comes a 1-1 from Butler. Breaking ball misses high and away for ball two. 2-1 two the count here to the senior. And the 2-1. This is low for ball three. Hitters count here for Gobble. He's done a good job working walk so far this year. There's no issues getting on base, but he wishes he could do it more with the bat. Here's a 3-1. This is low for ball four, and Gobble's going to work the walk. First free pass issued by Butler in the game. Now we got runners on first and second. One gone here in the top of the second. Bring up Cole Schultz, the third baseman. Moving to the eighth spot in the lineup tonight. Wind continues to blow strongly out the dead center field here in Green Hill. As you can tell from the wind blown on the microphone. 
First pitch from Butler. Breaking ball in there for strike one. Here's the 0-1 in the dirt. That one's going to get away from Wood. Daniel's going to get the third. Gobble going to jog his way to second base. Count evens up at one apiece, and the tying run now standing at second. Next pitch from Butler. And big swing by Schultz. Fouls it back for strike two. One and two the count here. Infield playing pretty much normal. Outfield normal as well for the Pirates. One, two. Misses high and away for ball two. Even up the count. Two balls, two strikes here to Schultz. And the 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball, misses away, and the count goes full with three balls and two strikes. The full count offering. Schultz will foul this one away. That was a sixth pitch of the at bat. The count will stay full once again. Daniel on third, Gobble on second. One gone here in the top of the second. A two nothing Rogers lead. Another full count. Schultz rips this one down the left field line, and hooking foul. That'll be another full count offering coming up from Butler to Schultz. Comes the eighth pitch of the at bat from Butler to Schultz. Another full count. This is high and away for ball four, and the bases are loaded with one out here in the top of the second inning. Back to back walks here, worked by Gobble, and Schultz brings up the freshman catcher in Brooks Durham. Brooks with his second start of the season. Chance here to drive in some runs, cut into this lead, or maybe tie it or take the lead. Depends on how good of a swing it is. First pitch from Butler. On the outside corner for strike one. Butler now with 30 pitches here through an inning and a third. And the 0-1. Breaking ball. That misses low for ball one. Good eye there by Durham to lay off that one. Comes a 1-1. Durham checks swing. Fielded by Butler. Throws over to home in time, and that's going to get Daniel. So good play on the fielder's choice. We got two gone here. Still with the bases loaded in the top of the second inning. Brings up the top of the order in Jack Emerson. Emerson had a infield single with the bunt on the first pitch he saw in the top of the first. Facing off here with Butler for the second time. First pitch in the dirt, a good block by Wood for ball one. Wildcats trying to take advantage of this bases loaded situation. Caden Smith's a courtesy runner for Durham over at first. Here's a 1-0. Misses high for ball two. Here comes a 2-0. Misses high and 
Misses away for ball three. The 3-0 offering from Butler. Fastball in there for strike one. And the 3-1 offering. In the dirt for ball four, and the Wildcats get on the board. Now bases loaded walk work by Jack Emerson. That brings home T.J. Gobble, and they've cut the lead the two to one. Bring up Gavin Glass, struck out looking in his first at bat, the lone strikeout of the game for Butler. And the lone strikeout for either pitcher. First pitch from Butler. That one's going to get away. Schultz taking off for home. The throw, not in time, and the Wildcats have tied it up at two. So good base running there by Cole Schultz. Read it right off the get-go and able to tie the game up at two. So Wildcats finally taking advantage here of this bases loaded situation. Got them both both of their runs on back-to-back -back pitches. Ball four and a wild pitch. It's a glass with runners on second and third. Two gone. Game tied at two. Next pitch from Butler. Swung on a miss for strike one. And the 1-1. One -one. Breaking ball, and that one misses high for ball two. Two of them on the count here, the 2-0 hitter in glass. And the 2-1. That one is fouled. Oh, thought that was going to hit the car, and it didn't. But count evens up at two balls and two strikes. Had a car that was just driving in through the area. And that ball didn't come as close as I thought it was going to. Going to. And then 2-2 two, two. on the outside corner for strike three, and that one will end the inning. The Wildcats get two here in the top half of the second inning. It's 2 all as we go to the bottom half. It's coming up next on the Exports Network. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Kalaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary Care by One Stop Medical at its best. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. This is the X Sports Network. And back here in Green Hills, we go to the bottom of the second inning, two all here between Lawrence County and Rogers. First pitch here by Logan Clayton and Griffin Hurston. Breaking ball misses low and away for ball one, seven, eight, nine, due up here for the Pirates. Clayton in the first inning gave up a run off two hits, a walk, no strikeouts. Now at 21 pitches. Pitch 22 is a fastball in the outside corner for strike one. One and one the count. Wildcats also had a pair of errors there in the bottom half of the first inning. One one. This is away for ball two. Two one from Clayton. This is high for ball three. And 
in the 3 1. This is away for ball four. Lead off walk here for the Pirates. Second walk issued by Clayton in the game. Now going to bring up the opposing pitcher in Hagen Butler. One of the two seniors honored on senior day here today for the Pirates. Hurston with a decent lead over at first base. Clayton will check on him. Throws not in time. And a beautiful evening here in Lauderdale County. Wind blowing straight out the dead center field. No one's been able to elevate a ball so far. Bunt be laid down. Clayton will field it. Throws over to first, and that one's going to get away. Rounding third is Hairston, and he will hold up. And we got runners on second and third. Nobody out here in the bottom of the second inning. Third error of the game here for the Wildcats. Now brings up the first baseman in Easton Bradley. Air has been the bugaboo here for the Wildcats as of late. Already got three in this game. Nine hole hitter and Bradley do up. Left handed hitter here for the Pirates. First pitch from Clayton. This one is sent down the right field line, a base hit. One run is in. Rounding third and scoring. And that makes it a 4-2 to two Pirate lead off the two-run single from Easton Bradley. Got a fastball, ripped it down the right field line and turned it in the two runs for Rodgers. Now going to bring us to the top of the order in Curtis Campbell. Singled in the left in his first at bat in the previous inning, facing off with Clayton for the second time. First pitch, bunt, and that one's going to get out of play for strike one. Owen won the count here to Campbell. Next pitch, he squares around the bunt again, gets it down. Schultz fields, throws over the first. That one's out of Gobble's reach again. Bradley on his way to third. He'll make the turn. He'll stay there. Campbell at second. And the fourth error of the game here for the Wildcats, and we've got runners on second and third. Nobody out here in the bottom of the second once again. Bring up Maddox Ramos, reached via an error in the first inning and scored a run. One of two left-handed hitters here in this Pirate lineup. Campbell on second, Bradley on third, Ramos at the plate. He's going to square around the bunt. First pitch is a breaking ball that misses away for ball one. Wildcats with four errors already through an inning plus so far in this game. And the 1-0. Ramos lines this one up the middle, a base hit. Bradley's going to score. Campbell rounding third, but he'll hold up off a great throw there by Bedford. They try to get Ramos at second and can't. So Ramos with an RBI single is going to make it 5-2, to two, Rodgers, and with runners on second and third once again. 5-2 to two is the Pirate lead. We'll bring up Jackson Green, the right fielder. Hit a sacrifice fly for an RBI in his first at bat in the first inning. And they're going to play in for the Wildcats. First pitch from Clayton, a breaking ball in the inside corner for strike one. Here's the 0-1. This is away for ball one. One and one the count here, the three hole hitter for Rodgers. And the one one. Ground ball. And caught by the on deck man and Keaton Hines. One and two the count now.
Green back in the batter's box. Runners on second and third. Infield playing in for the Wildcats. And the one-two. And that one is tap back foul again. Keeping the count of one ball and two strikes. Nobody gone. Runners on second and third here. 5-2 Pirate lead in the bottom of the second. Wildcats tied it to two in the top of the second. The Pirates answered with three of their own here in the bottom half of the inning. 1-2. And that is a looper. Good play by T.J. Gobble at first, and everyone's going to stay put. One gone here in the bottom of the second inning. Now brings up the shortstop in Keaton Hines. Hines, who's 0 for 1 with a pop-up to the second baseman in the first inning. It wasn't when a pop-up. It was a looping line drive into the hands of Gavin Glass. Infield still playing in for the Wildcats. First pitch on the outside corner for strike one. In the 0-1. That one's in there for strike two. Nope. It evens up the count of one ball and one strike. Guess it missed away. And the 1-1. Breaking ball. Sent in the air. Glass going back on it. And makes the catch. Nobody advances. Glass throws it back into Brooks Durham. So back-to-back -back infield pop-ups. Makes it two gone here in the bottom of the second inning. Brings up Tyser Wood, the catcher. Walked in his first to bat in the first inning. Facing Clayton here for the second time. First pitch from Clayton. Breaking ball off of the glove of Durham. Here comes Campbell. The throw will not be in time, and the Pirates now lead this one 6-2. to two. So four runs here for the Pirates in this inning. And the 1-0. This is away for ball two. We do have some action in the Wildcat bullpen. Can't really tell who it is. The 2 0 in the dirt for ball three. Good block by Durham behind the plate. In the 3 up, And this is high for ball four. Third walk issued by Clayton. Runners on the corners here with two guns. Going to bring out head coach Clint Wright here for Lawrence County. Have a discussion here with his young pitcher. Runners on the corners, one out. We do have a courtesy runner into the game here for Wood. Reaches base the second time in the game, both on walks. It is Frederick. A courtesy run for Wood. It's a Trent Carter, who for one with the tapper back to the pitcher in his first at bat. Got Rhodes at first base. Runners on the corners, two gone. 6-2 Rogers lead here in the bottom of the second inning. First pitch from Clayton. This is away for ball one. And the 1-0. Runner takes off. Throw from Durham will not be in time. And now we got runners on second and third. Which was called a ball. Got 
in the 2-0. That one is fouled away for strike one. And the 2-1. This is away for ball three. And the 3-1. That one is fouled away. And the count goes full with three balls and two strikes. And the full count offering. This is high for ball four, and the bases are loaded. Fourth walk issued by Clayton in this. Two gone here in the bottom of the second. It's going to be Griffin Hurston coming in. Walked in his previous at bat in this inning. So the Pirates have battered around here in the bottom of the second. First pitch from Clayton. This is high for ball one. Clayton now with 50 pitches here through an inning and two thirds. And the 1 0. Hit in the air. This is going to stay on the infield. Jack Emerson makes the catch, and that one will end at the inning. The Pirates. Give four here in the bottom of the second. They lead it six to two as we go to the top of the third. That's coming up next on the Exports Network. Here at Heritage Automotive, experience the difference. With our great sales department, service department, and parts department. Now offering up to $10,000 off on all Chevy and GMC model 1500s. And we have over 30 lenders with some of the best rates in the market. Hi, it's Tad with Heritage Automotive. We want you to know when it comes to your vehicle, you deserve help, not hassle. With our 30 plus years of experience of being your local dealership, we're here to serve you. So whether it's routine maintenance, mechanical repairs, collision repairs, we're here to help. So give us a call today to schedule your service. Heritage Automotive, expect more, experience the difference. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower, or your ATV, or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese & More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower, or your ATV, or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese & More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. This is the X Sports Network. Back in Green Hills, we go to the top of the third inning with Rogers leading Lawrence County 6-2. Maddox Ramos will be the new pitcher here for the Pirates. He'll face the heart of the Wildcat order, 3-4-5. and five. Alex Bedford to lead things off, grounded out to second base in his first at bat. Facing off, first time against Ramos. And umpire called time, so that's not going to be an official pitch. Here's the first pitch. Bedford 
Sends this one over to Bradley at first base. He bobbles it and eventually steps on first base in time for the first out in the inning. One gone here in the top of the third. It's going to bring up Isaiah Bentley. Bentley, who popped up to the shortstop and into the bottom of the first. On for the second time in the game, first time against Ramos. First pitch from Ramos. Swung on a miss for strike one. And the 0-1. Ground ball here to short. Throw over to first. And he's off the back. So Benley is safe from first here off the air. Throw over there by Hines, got away just a bit. We got a runner on first, one gone here in the top of the third. First error of the game here for the Pirates. Brings up the left fielder in A.J. Daniels, singled the center in his first at bat. Is one of the two Wildcat hits in the game. Face with the off with Ramos for the first time. Not a big lead by Ben Lee at first. First pitch here, this one sent up the middle. Hine makes the play. Steps on second, throws over to first in time, and that one will end the inning. A double play ends things here in the top of the third inning as we go to the bottom half. Rogers leading 6-2 to two here on the Exports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf, and this is Hustler Country. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available on the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on Fuel for Work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Don't just find a job, find a career with Resource MFG. The team at Resource MFG in Lawrenceburg has the resources and experience to find you a full or part-time position right away. Now recruiting for open positions in Lawrence, Giles, and Murray counties. Whether you're entering the workforce for the first time or looking to take your career to the next level, let your journey begin with Resource MFG. Located at 300 Ellingson Street in Lawrenceburg, phone 931-570-2111 to jumpstart your career today. We go here to the bottom of the third inning with Rogers leading Lawrence County 6-2. Hagen Butler to lead things off here for the Pirates. 8-9-1 to start things off for Rodgers. Got two runs in the first and four in the second. First pitch here from Logan Clayton who's back in the game. It's a breaking ball in there for strike one. Wildcats have had four errors in this game. Here's the 0-1. That one's in the dirt for ball one. Action resuming in the Wildcat bullpen. The 1-1. One, one. Ground ball down the left field line, but foul for strike two. One and two, the count here to Butler, who's leading things off here in the bottom of the third inning. Next pitch from Clayton. That's a breaking ball that misses away for ball two. In the 2-2. This one's lined in the left field, a base hit. So Butler, the senior, gets a base hit here on senior day. So we got one on. Nobody out here in the bottom of the third inning. Brings up the nine-hole hitter in Easton Bradley. 
Bradley one for one with a two run single down the right field line in his first at bat. Part of that big second inning where the Pirates got four runs. First pitch, this one's lined hard in the right field. That one's gonna get down for a base hit. Butler will hang up at second. So Bradley two for two in the game. Two hard hit balls here for the Pirates to start things off in the bottom of the third. Five hits in the game now for the Pirates. Clip right now to talk with Logan Clayton once again, and that will do it for Clayton. So a pitching change will go down here for the Wildcats. While that happens, we'll take a break here on the Exports Network. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-444. 4602. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633. Are you tired of missing out on family life just to be treated like another truck number? Since 1986, Southeast Cares has been a family-operated business based in Lartsburg, Tennessee. Being family owned ourselves, we understand the importance of family, which is why we value it above all else. With our large number of dedicated lanes and our friendly staff, we are able to evenly divide your home time with the amount of time you spend on the road. We offer multiple benefits with large company pay, all while keeping a small company environment. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. This is the X Sports Network. And back in Green Hill, the new pitcher into the game here for the Wildcats will be Truett Kidd. Takes over a runner on first and second situation here with nobody gone in the bottom of the third inning. Logan Clayton threw two innings, two plus innings, gave up six runs, only about four of those earned. Five hits, four walks, no strikeouts, and finished 57 pitches. Three of the runs were earned, so half of the runs that Clayton gave up here in the two plus innings were earned runs. True a kid here trying to get out of the jam here. Curtis Campbell who's reached base twice safely. He's one for two. First pitch. That one is low and in for ball one. Campbell was singled and scored in the first, reached via an error and scored in the second. Very fast center fielder here for the Pirates. And the one up. Squares around the bunt and can't pull that one back and or make contact. So the count evens up with one ball and one strike. Comes a 1-1 from Kidd. Campbell squares around the bunt and that one goes foul into the Rogers dugout. Make the count one ball and two strikes. Schultz playing in on the grass at third for the Wildcats. Here's a one-two. Hit high in the air. And that one landed on top of something. Didn't sound productive. Hopefully it wasn't a car. And the Cowboys will stand one ball and two strikes. Actually, I think it did hit on top of a car.
Here's a one-two. Ground ball right in front of Kidd. Kidd will throw over to first. That is in time for the first out in the inning. Both runners will advance on the play as we got one gone here in the bottom of the third. Brings up the 2 0 hitter and now the pitcher, Maddox Ramos. Ramos, one for two, reached via an error, scored in the first, and had an RBI single in the second. So he'll face off of Kip for the first time. First pitch from Kidd. He squares around the bun and misses for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Ground ball. That one's through for a base hit. One run is in. Here comes Bradley rounding third. Here's the throw. Will not be in time. A two-run single by Maddox Ramos. That will make it a 8-2 Pirate lead. Pirate bats have been very good so far in this game. It's Ramos with three RBIs in the game. He'll get courtesy runner in. That will bring up Jackson Green. 0 for 1 at a sack fly in the first, and then a... Line drive at TJ Gobble in the second. So he'll face off with Kip for the first time. First pitch. This is away for ball one. Big lead over at first. Kip will check on him, and it's in time. So Tura Kid gets the pick off. That will be the second out of the inning. Very good job by Tura Kid to pick him off on that play. The coach Randall Martin was not happy. I think he threw his hat all the way to the fence. Here's a one up. This one is. Send over the Cole Schultz at third. His throw over to first is in time, and that one will end the inning. Pirates will add a couple runs here in the bottom of the third. They lead it 8-2 to two as we go to the top of the fourth here on the Exports Network. Southern Craft Manufacturing is dedicated to creating the finest quality and greatest value products in the death care industry. Southern Craft has perfected blending old world craftsmanship with modern manufacturing technologies to create a full line of steel, wood, and corrugated caskets. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Southern Craft is now looking to hire local and regional truck drivers, welders, and production workers, each with great starting pay and a benefits package. For more information, visit southerncraftmfg.com. For the best at home care in Lawrence County, the Summit at Home is the right company for you. We have a friendly staff over 25 that is trained, educated, and qualified to help with all your needs within your household. Our non-medical services include transportation, housework, dressing, and companionship. We are also covered by most long-term care providers. For more information, please call 931-762-2310. This Saturday for nine hours only at Story Lee Furniture, it's the incredible nine hour sale starting at 12 noon on Saturday. Where for nine hours only, you can save up to 70% off bedrooms, dining rooms, outdoor living, and the largest selection of leather in the Tennessee Valley. And for nine hours only, a factory authorized sales event. Save an additional 20% off on Flex Steel and Hooker Furniture. And all Kingsdown betting has been reduced. It's the Story Lee's incredible nine hour sale this Saturday only at 12. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at Rogers as we go to the top of the fourth of the Pirates lead Lords County 8 to 2. 6 7 8 due up here for the Wildcats. Casey Smith will lead things off here against Mattis Ramos. His first pitch misses high and away for ball one. Ramos was perfect in the first inning. Just through four pitches as Smith skies this one in the center. Campbell goes back on and makes a catch, and that will be the first down in the inning. 
First hard hit ball from either side that has gone that far into the outfield and results in an out. Brings up the first baseman in T.J. Gobble. Gobble, who walked and scored a run in his first at bat in the second inning, trying to reach base here for the second time, facing off with Ramos for the first time. And the first pitch, and one misses high and in for ball one. Here's a one up. That one's on the outside corner for strike one. And the one one on the outside corner for strike two. Comes a one two from Ramos. This is away for ball two. Evens up the count here with two balls and two strikes. And the 2-2. Two -two. This one is hitting the foul territory. Bradley going back on it and just out of reach. And the count will stay at two balls and two strikes. Two and two the count here to Gobble again. Next pitch from Ramos. This one is sent down the left field line. That one's trouble. That's going to fall in for a base hit. Gobble makes a turn at first, and he'll stay there with a one-out single. Good piece of hitting there from T.J. Gobble. Third hit of the game for the Wildcats. Brings up the third baseman, Nicole Schultz. Walked and scored a run in his first at bat in the second inning, facing Ramos here for the first time. First pitch from Ramos. This is away for ball one. Wind continues to blow straight out here in Green Hill. A 1-0. Schultz will foul this one out of play. Wood gave chase to it, but it got out of play. Evens up the count of one ball and one strike. Pirates here with an 8-2 lead over the Wildcats. Pirates got two in the first, four in the second, two in the third. Wildcats here with just two in the second so far. 1-1. One, one. Misses in. That's going to get away. Gobble on his way to second base. A runner in scoring position here for the Wildcats on the top of the fourth inning. 2-1 the count here to Schultz. Next pitch from Ramos, and they're going to call Balk. So I kind of saw that one coming, and said that he did not come fully set there, so that will move Gobble over the third base. Third run of the game for the Wildcats is now 90 feet away. Here's a 2-1. Schultz a ground ball back to Ramos. Throws over to first in time, and that will be the second out of the inning. Brings up Brooks Durham here. Two gone in the top of the fourth. Durham, who hit into a fielder's choice on the tapper back to the pitcher in his first at bat in the second inning. First pitch from Ramos. Ground ball here to the third baseman. Makes the play. Throws over to first. And that one is in time. A very good play by Bradley over at first base. And that gets the Pirates out of the jam. Wildcats stream one here in the top of the fourth. It's an 8-2 Pirate lead as we go to the bottom half of the inning. Next on the X Sports Network. 
Whether you're shopping in Lawrenceburg, Loretto, Summertown, or Mount Pleasant, Tegan's Food Stores has you covered with the best quality food at the best prices. From Cash Saver to Superama and CB Foods, stop by your neighborhood Tegan's Food Store today. The Hidden Garden, located just off the square in downtown Lawrenceburg, is your hometown oasis for massage, aesthetics, full hair and nail services, and body waxing. Gift certificates are available, and be sure to follow them on Facebook for their specials. The Hidden Garden, your peace, your place. 222 Pulaski Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, or phone 931-762-9799. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of the Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come to our facility. We would love to see you here. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil, and Malco products. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Haviland, Castrol GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, products and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at volcoautosupply.com or at 416 Buffalo Road. This is the X Sports Network. Yeah, back in Green Hill here as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning with Rogers leading Lawrence County 8-2. to 4-5-6 do it for the Pirates. Keaton Hines 0 for 2. A soft line drive to Glass at second, then a pop up to Glass at second. First pitch here from Chua Kid is low and in for ball one. Kid here who came in in a tight situation, got out of a jam. One hit, no runs, no walks, no strikeouts. Now at 10 pitches. Pitch 11 is low and in for ball two. In the two up. Low and in for ball three. It's a 3 0 from Kidd. That one is on the inside corner for strike one. It's a 3 1 from Kidd. That one's on the outside corner for strike two. Kid has come back to force a full count. Comes a full count offering. This one is sent in the right field. Kaysen Smith camps underneath him, makes the catch, and that will be the first out of the inning. One gone here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Now brings up the five-hole hitter, and Tyser Wood has walked in both of his at-bats, the first and second inning. As courtesy runner stranded in both of those opportunities. So he'll face off with Kip for the first time. The first pitch in there for strike one. Here's the 0-1, fouled away, and actually found its way barely over the net, makes it an 0-2 count. <laughs> Comes the 0-2, misses in for ball one. Comes a 1-2 here from Kidd. 
Breaking ball, it's a ground ball here to Schultz at third. Fields throws over the first. Good stretch over there by T.J. Gobble. That's in time for the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the bottom of the fourth. And we'll bring up Trent Carter, the second baseman. 0 for 1. Grounded out to the pitcher in the first. Walked and was left on base in the second. Faces off here with Kidd for the first time. Here's the first pitch. This one's hit high in the air. Smith runs in, makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. Three up, three down here for the Pirates in the bottom of the fourth. Eight to two is the Rogers Lee as we go to the top of the fifth. That's next on the X Sports Network. If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Truitt's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truitt's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truitt's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truitt's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truitt's Garage Doors, 931-201-646. This is the X Sports Network. Back in Green Hill as we go to the top of the fifth inning. Rogers leading Lawrence County 8 to 2. Top of the order due up here for the Wildcats with Emerson Glass and Bedford. Jack Emerson, one for one in the game, single in the first, walked and scored a run in the actually had a bases loaded walk in the second inning. For an RBI, first pitch is on the inside corner from Ramos for strike one. Ramos through two innings, one hit, no runs. No walks, no strikeouts through 18 pitches. Here's the 0-1. Emerson rips this one in the left field. And a good play by the left fielder. Runs up on it, makes the catch for the first out of the inning. One gone here in the top of the fifth. And that was the original starting pitcher. And Hagen Butler who made the catch out there left. Bring up Gavin Glass. A pair of strikeouts looking in the first and second. Trying to get some redemption here in the fifth. First pitch from Ramos. Swung on a miss for strike one. And the 0-1. This is high and away for ball one. And the 1-1. Swung on a miss for strike two. And the one, two. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that's the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the top of the fifth. Brings up the center fielder and Alex Bedford. 0 for two with a pair of ground outs, a second and first. Jason Ramos here for the uh, third, second time in the game. First pitch from Ramos. This is low and away for ball one. And the 
in the one up. This is high and in for ball two. Ramos recepts himself on the mound. Here's a 2 up on the outside corner for strike one. And the 2-1. That one's in there to even up the count of two balls and two strikes. And the 2-2. Two -two. And Bedford rips this one into the left center field gap. That one's going all the way back. That's going to hop over the wall. So Bedford here with a ground rule double, the first extra base hit for either side. And a hard hit ball here from Alex Bedford. Puts himself in scoring position here with two gone. The top of the fifth inning. Just absolutely crushed that ball. And it one hopped over the wall. Brings up Isaiah Bentley. 0 for 2. Reach via an air in his last at bat. First pitch. Swings and misses for strike one. Ball gets away from the catcher, Wood, and Bedford on his way to third base. On one, the count here to Bentley. Yo, one from Ramos. Bentley, a ground ball down the left field line, but foul. It's an 0-2 count. Binley, who popped up to the shortstop in the first and then grounded towards short in the third and reached V in an air. And the 0-2. Binley sends this one up the middle, and that one's through for a base hit. Alex Bedford is going to score, and Isaiah Binley with a two-out RBI single will make it 8-3 to three Rodgers here in the top of the fifth. Got some help there from the lip. I think that one was going to make it through anyways. So an RBI single from uh, Isaiah Bentley. Brings home Bedford. Brings up A.J. Daniel, the cleanup hitter. One for two. Single up the middle in the second and lined into a double play up the middle in the third. Bentley takes off. Throw here to get him. It's not in time as Bentley gets in there standing up. First pitch was a strike. Next pitch to Daniel, swung on a miss for strike two. Good change up there from Ramos. And the 0-2. This is a ground ball tap foul as Bentley took off on the plate. Still an 0-2 count here to Daniel. Really come on strong for the Wildcats here in the last couple games. Earning himself here a cleanup, or a five-hole spot, I should say. Here's the 0-2. This is away for ball one. And the 1-2. This is high and in and evens up the count at two balls and two strikes. Deuce is on the board with two outs. Runner on second base. And the 2-2. Two -two. Daniel skies this one high in the air. Center fielder. Campbell makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. The Wildcats get one back here in the top of the fifth. Rogers still leads it 8-3 to three as we go to the bottom of the fifth next on the Exports Network.
McMaster's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability, while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. Back here in Green Hill, it's a 8-3 Rogers lead. Griffith Hairston here to lead things off here. Count is now 1-1 one and one here from True Kid. Kid through two innings of work has given up one hit, no runs, no walks, no strikeouts. Now at 22 pitches. Harrison, who's 0 for 1 in the game, walked and scored a run in the second, then popped out to the shortstop later in that inning. Takes a next pitch. Low and in for ball two. Two and one the count here, the seven hole hitter for the Pirates. Two one from Kidd. In the dirt for ball three. Hitters count here for Hurston. And here comes a 3-1. Tap back foul, and the count will go full with three balls and two strikes. Kid shaking off Brooke Sturm as catcher. Here comes a 3-2. This is low for ball four. First walk issued by Kidd in the game, and it's a leadoff walk as Hairston makes the base. Second time here in the game. Brings up the left fielder and Hagen Butler. One for two has reached base twice via an error in the second, scored a run, and then had a single run scored in the third. Hairston with a big lead over at first. Kidd already has a pickoff in the game, first pitch. Bunt attempt by Butler is fouled back for strike one. This Rogers team bunts a lot. Three of the four errors for the Wildcats in this game have come off bunts. Here's the 0 1. This is away for ball one. Checks on a Hurston at first, throws not in time. Again, another big lead by Hurston at first. And the 1-1. One -one. This is away for ball two. Continues to whip pretty hard to straight center field. Only have one extra base hit in the game. Here's a 2-1. Runner takes off. Durham's throw. That's going to be in time. And he's out. A great throw by Brooks Durham. Gets him at second base. First out of the inning. And they say that pitch was a strike, so it's a 2-2 count. Great arm there by Brooks Durham. That was accurate and on the line to get that get Hurston at second base. Second thrown out batter by Durham in this game. The 2-2. Two -two. 
in the dirt for ball three. Another full count here. Kid now 31 pitches through two and a third. And the full count offering. Ground ball ripped pretty hard near the Rogers dugout off the fencing of the Rogers dugout. And the full count offering. Hit hard in the air in the left field. A.J. Daniel going back on it, and it's over his head. That's going to roll to the wall. And Butler, a senior on senior day with his second base hit of the game and the first extra base hit here for the Pirates. A one-out double off the wall in left center. Brings up Easton Bradley, the first baseman. Bradley is two for two in the game with a pair of singles. Two runs single in the second, then a single and a run scored in the third. He's been very active here for the Pirates in this game. First pitch from Kidd. Foul back for strike one. So far for the Pirates, the very bottom and the very top of the order doing all the damage as far as hits go in this game. One and eight and nine and one and two have all seven hits. Here's the 0-1. Ground ball. And TJ Gobble comes up with it, throws over to Kidd, and it won't be in time. Good hustle down the first there by Bradley. Now we got runners on the corners with one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Brings up the top of the order in Curtis Campbell. He's reached base twice. He's one for three. Single scored a run in the first. Reached via an air in the second. Scored a run as well, and then tapped back to the pitcher in the third inning. First man he faced. Actually, the first guy that Kidd faced was Campbell and got him out. So he's facing him for the second time as he goes through the order for the second time. First pitch here from Kidd, and it's bunted in the air. Lands in fair territory, and no play will be made. Now we got the bases loaded there off the bunt single. One gone here in the bottom of the fifth. Brings up Maddox Ramos, who's had a big game so far. He's reached base safely in all three at bats. He's two for three. He reached via an error in the first score to run. RBI single in the second, and the two run single in the third. Action in the Wildcat bullpen. First pitch from Kidd. Misses high and away for ball one. Here's a one up. Swung on a miss for strike one. A rising fastball there. And the 1-1. One, one. Ground ball here to Gavin Glass. And struggles with that one. Everyone's going to be safe. Butler's going to score. And now it's a 9-3 Pirate lead. Bring up Jackson Green, the right fielder. Reno for two, had a sacrifice fly in the first, ground out, yeah, soft liner to gobble at first in the second, then grounded out the Schultz at third in the third. First pitch by a kid, misses low for ball one. Wildcats now have six errors in this game. Hey. 
Here's a one up. This is over his head for ball two. Here's a two up. This one is fouled. Onto the football field for strike one. Base is loaded, one gone here in the bottom of the fifth. Rodgers has gotten a run in this inning to make it nine to three. Answer what the Wildcats in the top half of the inning. Here's a two one. And a good block there by Durham to keep everyone at bay. And the count now goes to three and one. And the full count offering. And this is low and away for ball four. Second walk by Kidd. It's a bases loaded walk. And the Pirates now lead it 10 to 3. Brings home Bradley for the second time. Now head coach Clint Wright makes his way out to the mound. And that will do it for Truett Kidd. Caden Shortman now come on here and pitch for the Wildcats while he warms up. Take a break here on the X Sports Network. A moment in real estate with my dad, Jeff Lee. You know, I get asked a lot about what the market's going to do, how's the real estate market. I've been selling real estate for a long time, and nobody has a crystal ball. And you know what? When it's your time to buy or your time to sell, it really doesn't matter what the market's doing. It's your time, and you have to do something maybe. What makes a difference is the agents and the experience that go to work for you. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, located here in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We can help. Hood Company, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. Efficiency. Reliability, accuracy. Trust Title and Escrow of Lawrence County to provide exceptional title insurance services. Offering a wide range of title services across Tennessee, our team is unmatched. In fact, we're the most experienced closing team around. We get the job done on time at a fair price and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind. When you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land or anything in between, you're in good hands with title and escrow of Lawrence County. Put the most experienced closing team on your side. Contact title and escrow of Lawrence County today. This is the X Sports Network. Caden Short will be the new pitcher here for the Wildcats, and here it's a bases loaded, one out jam here on the bottom of the fifth. With Rogers leading ten to three. Drew a kid through two and a third, gave up two runs off three hits, two walks, no strikeouts, and finished with forty-four pitches. Errors have been a issue here in this game. The Wildcats with six of them so far, including two in this inning. First pitch here from Short. This one is fouled onto the football field for strike one. The winning run via run rule is standing on first base with one out here in the inning. Next pitch from Short in the dirt, and that one's going to get away. Campbell's going to come on down and score, and that makes it 11 to 3, Rodgers. It's 11 to 3 lead, eight runs. Winning run on second base. That one ended in a run rule. Signs will call timeout. Hines is 0 for 3. A pair of pop-ups to the second baseman, then a fly out to right. First pitch here. Misses away for ball two. And the 2-1. And 
this is away for ball three. Three and one the count here in the Hines. Next pitch from short, ground ball. And that one is going to leak foul, and the cow will go full at three balls and two strikes. Comes a full count offering. Ground ball up the middle, and that's going to get through for a base hit. And they're going to hold him up here at third base. And that makes it 12-3 to three with the winning run. Now 90 feet away off the RBI single. Runners on the corners. And a 12-3 lead for the Pirates. Going to bring up Tyser Wood, the catcher, 0 for 1. A pair of walks in the first and second and grounded out to third and the fourth. Corner infield playing in. Middle infield even with the bag. First pitch to Wood. Swung on a miss for strike one. Infield now playing fully in here for the Wildcats. The 0-1. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. Green representing the run rule run, standing on third. Here's a 1-1. That one is check swing foul back for strike two. And the 1-2. Ground ball up the middle. Short makes a play, throws over to first. That is in time for the second out of the inning. So a very good job there. The runner at first will advance to second base. Two gone here. Bring up the second baseman, Trent Carter. Zo for two. Grant Tapper back to the pitcher in the first, walked in the second, and flew out the right in the fourth. First pitch from short, that's a breaking ball, misses away for ball one. And the one up, ground ball up the middle. Emerson makes the play at short, the throw over to first is in time and that one will end the inning. Pirates get four in the bottom of the fifth inning as we go to the top of the six as they lead at 12 to three. That's next on the Exports Network. What really matters during the ball game, we're at that point in the season where some are just beginning, some have already ended, and others are at that point where it's either win or go home. Depending on what your perspective is, it changes everything, doesn't it? In 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 18, we're reminded we don't look at the things that are seen, but at the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Keep your focus, keep your perspective on the right things, the things of God, the eternal things. And that message brought to you by your friends at the Leoma Church of Christ. For the best meal from south of the border, head to Cocina Real and Puente Grande for lunch and dinner. With a wide array of mouth-watering entrees, there's something for everyone on the menu. And you can't forget the cheese dip. 
They'll treat you like family, and you'll never leave hungry. Make Cocina Real Mexican Restaurant and Puente Grande Mexican Restaurant your choice for authentic cuisine. Located in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. This is the X Sports Network. Over the top of the sixth inning here with Rogers lean Lawrence County 12 to 3, 6 7 8 due up here for the Wildcats with Case and Smith to lead things off. Max Ramos back on the hill here for the Pirates. First pitch, breaking ball in the outside corner for strike one. Ramos through three innings, one run off three hits. No walks, a strikeout now on 38 pitches. Smith who's 0 for 2 with a pair of pop ups. This one, a ground ball here over to short. Throw over to first is in time, and that's the first out of the inning. One gone here in the top of the sixth inning. I bring up T.J. Gobble, the first baseman. He's reach base in both of his bats, a walk in the second, and a single down the left field line in the fourth. We'll face Ramos here for the second time. First pitch. This is away for ball one. Next pitch from Ramos. Gobble rips it down the right field line, but foul for strike one. Wind still has been blowing so strong out the dead center field here in Green Hill. And the 1-1. One -one. Sent up the middle. Just out of the reach of the second baseman, and Gobble is going to get in safely here for the second time in the game with the second base hit. Two for two in the game. Now runner on first with one gone here in the top of the six. Brings up Cole Schultz, the third baseman. 0 for one, walk, scored a run in the second and grounded out to the pitcher in the fourth. First pitch from Ramos, swung on a miss for strike one. Here's, nope, I'm going to try to pick off on Gobble. That one did get away, but not too far away. Bradley over there first. Here's the 0-1. This is high and away for ball one. And the 1-1. One, one. That one is at Schultz's feet. Gobble will get in the second base. Two and one the count. Almost now at 48 pitches. Pitch 49. Rip foul down the left field line. Two and two the count here with Runner on second, one out in the top of the sixth. 12-3, Rogers lead. Next pitch from Ramos. Gobble takes off, and that one hit Schultz, so Gobble will have to go back to second base. 2-1, one, one out here in the top of the sixth inning. Pitching coach will come out of the dugout here for the Pirates. Have a talk here with Ramos. Brings up Brooks Durham, the freshman. 0 for 2, hitting to a fielder's choice to the pitcher in the second and grounded out to third in the fourth. Top of the order with Jack Emerson due up after him.
First pitch here from Ramos to Durham. This is high for ball one. Sun coming out strong here in the top of the sixth inning. It's quarter after six here central time. And the one up. Durham swings and misses for strike one. And the 1-1. One, one. This is away for ball two. And the 2-1. Two, Tip back foul and caught for strike two. Two and two the count here to the nine hole hitter and the freshman from Lawrence County. Next pitch from Ramos. Ripped down the left field line and down. Or did he catch it? They said he caught it. It's a good catch out there by Butler and left on that looping line drive. Hard hit ball from Brooks Durham. Everyone will stay put as we got two gone here on the top of the sixth. Could have swore that one was going to get down and Butler fooled us all, making the nice catch out there in left field. Brings up Jack Emerson, one for two, singled in the first, had a bases loaded walk in the second, and flew out to left in the fifth. This one popped high in the air, will stay on the infield. Ramos camps underneath it, makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats strand two in the top of the sixth. It's a 12-3 at Rogers Lee as we go to the bottom of the inning next on the Exports Network. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at number three Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. This is the X Sports Network. We go to the bottom of the six here in Green Hill with Rogers leading Lawrence County 12 to 3. 7 8 9 due up here for the Pirates. Griffin Harrison to lead things off is 0 for 1. A pair of walks and a pop out. Caden Short on through two thirds of an inning, a hit, no runs, no walks, no strikeouts through 12 pitches. Pitch 13 missed for ball one. In the 1 0. That one's on the inside corner for strike one. And the 1 1. That one hits him, and he will reach base for the third time today with a pair of walks and a hit by pitch. Erson now represents the winning run rule run. If he scores, this game is over here in the bottom of the six. Hagen Butler has had himself an afternoon. Reached base safely three times. He's two for three. He reached via an error in the second. Singled in the third and doubled off the wall on left. And either him or his courtesy runner scored in all three at-bats. First pitch here from Short. This is high and in for ball one. Butler, him and Ramos, the two seniors on this Rogers team, honored before the game. Short, checks on Hurston at first, not in time. Back. 
in the one-up. This one is a looping line drive over Emerson's head, and that will fall in for a base hit. Butler now three for four in the game, has reached base safely in all four at bats. Tenth hit by the Pirates in this one. Going to bring up Easton Bradley. He's had a big day today. Two for three in the game, pair of singles, two RBIs, and reach via an error in the fifth. So he's reached base in all three at bats. First pitch from short. This is high for ball one. And the one up, swung on a miss for strike one. And the 1-1. One, one. And that hits him, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. Brings up the top of the order in Curtis Campbell, who's two for four. Singled, scored a run in the first. Reach Vianero, scored a run in the second. Tapped back to the pitcher in the third, and singled, scored a run in the fifth. Infield playing in here for the Wildcats. The winning run, run will run at third. First pitch, that one's on the inside corner for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Tip foul and into the parking lot for strike two. Now short here with the pickoff over at third, and it's in time. So they get Hurston over at third base with the pickoff, and that will be the first out in the inning. Didn't see that one coming. So one gone here in the bottom of the sixth. Run rule run is Butler, second base, the 0-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that will be the second out of the inning. First strikeout by Wildcat pitching in the game as we've got two gone here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Brings up Maddox Ramos, two for four in the game. Reach via an error in the first, RBI single in the second, two run single in the third, and reach via an error in the fourth. So <laughs> all four of his at-bats, he's reached base. Him and Butler having a big senior day. Short here will reset. Oh, and look at the sign here from the freshman of Brooks Durham, and now he'll go out and have a talk with his pitcher. First pitch from short. This is away for ball one. Here's a one up. Swung on a miss for strike one. And the 1-1. One, one. That one's going to hit him. And the bases are loaded once again. Breaking ball got away there from short. And brings up Jackson Green, the right fielder. 0 for 2 in the game. A sack fly in the first. Soft line drive over a gobble in the second. Grounded out to third in the third. And a bases loaded walk in the fifth. 
Clint right now on the conversation here with Short at the mound. Run, roll, run, standing at third base, two gone. The base is loaded here for the second time in the inning. Was loaded with nobody out, then a short pickoff at third, followed by a strikeout in the next pitch. That's where we got where we are. Jackson Green, who's 0 for 2, has reached base once. The base is loaded, walk in the fifth. Has a sacrifice fly, so a pair of RBIs. First pitch from short. That one's in there for strike one. And the 0-1, breaking ball. And that miss for ball one. And the 1-1 one, one. swung on a miss for strike two. And the 1-2 two. misses away, and the count evens up two balls, two strikes, deuces on the board, and two outs. And the 2-2. Two, two. Ground ball up the middle. Emerson makes the play, tosses the glass at second, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats get out of not one but two bases loaded jams here in the bottom of the six. It's a 12-3 Rogers leads. We go to the top of the seventh. Final chance for the Wildcats coming up next on the Exports Network. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931-201. 9098 so we can help you make the switch today. This is the X Sports Network. And yeah, back here as we back here at Green Hills, Logan Mays will lead things off here as a pitch hitter in the top of the seventh inning. Ty Caperton, the new pitcher into the game here for Rodgers, and that one misses away for ball one. Next pitch misses away for ball two. Two zero from Caperton. Misses away for ball three. Alex Bedford waiting on deck, followed by Isaiah Bentley. 2-3-4 here in the Wildcat order.
Here's a 3-0. This is away for ball four. So a four-pitch leadoff walk worked here by Logan Mays. It's a runner on first. Nobody out here on the top of the seventh to bring up Alex Bedford. One for three with the double off the left field wall. Scored a run in the fifth inning. First pitch here from Caperton to Bedford. This is in the dirt, gets through Wood's legs. No advancement here for ball one. Five straight balls to start off the inning here for Caperton. Boy, wind continues just to whip hard out the straight center field. Here's a 1-0. This is over Bedford's head, a back pick opportunity, and wasn't going to be in time. First baseman there, and Bradley dropped the ball anyways. 2-0 the count here. Six straight balls by Caperton. Here's a 2-0. This is low for ball three. A 3 up. This is in for ball four. Back to back walks on eight straight pitches. We got two on here. Nobody out in the top of the seventh inning. Brings up Isaiah Bentley, the designated hitter. And we're going to have a quick pitching change after that. So while that goes down, we'll take a break here on the X Sports Network. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you. Because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi-use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CNB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CNB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop Services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers and more. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. Trey Frederick, the new pitcher into the game here for the Pirates, and here it's a two-on, nobody out situation here in the top of the seventh. First pitcher to Isaiah Bentley, a breaking ball in there for strike one. Bentley one for three, reached via an error in the third, and had an RBI single in the fifth. Here's the 0-1. And that one's fouled out of play off the top of the net and into the stands for strike two. The 0 2. That one misses away. Everyone's going to advance a base. Base will go to third and Bedford to second off ball one.
One and two the count here to Bentley. Next pitch from Frederick. Breaking ball, misses away for ball two. Evens up the count here. Two balls and two strikes with 2-1. And the 2-2. And that one's off the end of the bat. Squibs fair down the first baseline. The throw, the first is going to get away. That's going to score Mays. Bedford is going to score. And the Wildcats got the lead here to 12-4. Binley hit that one off the end of the bat. It started foul, went fair, and then was eventually thrown away. So runner on first, nobody out here, and the Wildcats just got two runs back to make it 12 to five. First pitch here to Daniel, misses for ball one. A.J. Daniel is one for three in the game. He's had a couple hard hit balls. And one up, this is high for ball two. Two zero. Hit out of play into the parking lot for strike one. Two one here from Frederick. High breaking ball misses in for ball three. Hitters count here for Daniel. And three one. Don't believe there's any action in the Pirate bullpen. Don't see anybody. And the 3-1. And that one is on the outside corner to make the count four. Three balls and two strikes. And Bentley, and now we got a ball call. He... Frederick clearly balked on that play. Good call there by the field umpire. And Bentley will get in the second base as he just took off without Frederick knowing and turned it into a balk. Now the home plate and the field umpire are going to come together and have a conversation on that. Yeah. Coaching staff from Rogers they're discussing over here. They both know it that he kind of bought there when Bentley took off. So full count here to Daniel. Next pitch from Frederick. Misses in for ball four. Runners on first and second. Nobody out here on the top of the seventh. Wildcats have already gotten two in this inning. Brings up Case and Smith, 0 for 3. Pop up to the shortstop in the second, fly out the center in the fourth, and a ground out to the shortstop in the sixth. Looks like we're going to get some action here in the Rogers bullpen. Getting some guys loose. We have a pitch runner coming into the game for Lawrence. Nope, A.J. Daniels is going to stay put. Now we're going to have a pitch runner. It's going to be Caden Smith coming in for Daniel at first. Daniel reach base for the second time in the game. Now Smith trying to reach base for the first time. First pitch from Frederick. Hit high in the air. This one's going to stay on the infield. Storch's up, makes the catch, and that will be the first out of the inning. One gone here in the top of the seven. Now brings up T.J. Gobble, the first baseman. Two for two in the game, walked in the second, singled in the fourth and sixth. Scored a run in the second as well. And a single down the left field line and one up the middle.
First pitch here from Frederick. This is away for ball one. And the one up. Misses away for ball two. And the two up. Swung on a miss for strike one. The 2 1. That one is tap back foul, and the count evens up. Two balls and two strikes. One plate umpire is out of baseballs here, so they're trying to get in a couple more in. Not an easy place to chase down foul balls of all the concrete around us here. Here's a 2-2. Swung on a miss. Nope. Tap back foul. And Gobble there catches a break. Everyone will go back to their respective bases. This count will stay two balls and two strikes. Another 2-2 here from Frederick. That's going to be a ground ball here to second base. Throws over to first, and that one is in time. And that will be the second out of the inning. Final chance coming up here for Cole Schultz as each base runner advanced on that one. Now runners on second and third and two gone. Schultz, who's 0 for 1, walked in the second, scored a run, hit by a pitch in the sixth, and tapped back to the pitcher in the fourth. First pitch from Frederick. This one has ripped up the middle for a base hit. Binley is in. Smith is going to stay at third. And the Wildcats have cut the lead in half here at 12 to 6. So Cole Schultz with the RBI single. Now with runners here on the corners. Two gone in the top of the seventh. Brings up Brooks Durham. 0 for 3 in the game. Fielder's choice. They. 0 for 3 at the pair of ground balls and a fly out and a hard hit fly out in the 6 to left. First pitch from Frederick. Swung on a miss for strike one. Here's the 0 1. Break a ball, fouled out of play. Wildcats down to the final strike. And the 0-2. Misses in. Smith taking off for home. The throw will not be in time, and the Wildcats make it 12 to 7. Schultz will advance to second base. One and two the count here to Durham. Breaking ball in there for strike three, and that one will end the game. Pirates hang on to win this one, despite the Wildcats getting four in the top of the seventh inning. They win this one 12 to seven. They improve to seven and eight on the year, while the Wildcats have now dropped their seventh in a row as they drop to eight and eight. Up, coming up next, these two face off once again tomorrow night, 6.30 from Tom Cruiseville in Lawrenceburg. We'll have coverage of that once again here on the Exports Network via Facebook and YouTube. But for now, this is A.J. Good. Have a great evening.
This is the X Sports Network.